you guys. Welcome back to Mommy Loves Tech and our Hangout on Air. I know it's been a while, but I thought I would check in and say hey. And thanks to you guys who are joining me today. And for those who haven't joined yet and are about to jump in, ooh, like our friend Joe. But we have Anthony who is hanging out with us from Sacramento. Hey, Anthony. Joe is hanging out in Hawaii, it looks like. Hey, Joe. Hi. And we've got Trev, who is hanging out in England. Good evening to you, fine sir. Um, <laughs> and and for those of you watching on our YouTube channel, hey, you guys, we are talking about a couple of things today. But I thought this would be a good one to start another hangout on air today with what's been on the news this week that kind of bothered me um, as a mom, as a woman, and. Um, as a former girl, teenager, there's a story that uh, just came out on Instagram, about Instagram rather, and how these teenage girls are putting in the hashtag beauty pageant and these girls are entering the beauty pageant and based on their picture are rated by users on Instagram and the most likes uh, basically win, wins uh, the pageant. So it's just really sad and it's just another opportunity for for parents to have this conversation with their kids and hopefully, hopefully that the parents are really keeping tabs on their kids and what they do online on their smartphone devices and um, you know it's just it's so unhealthy to do it I wanted to get your, your guys' take on it of course Joe is a parent of a, of a teenage girl right? I have her here she's gonna she's listening right now with us Oh, she is fantastic. Yeah, it, it's just it's so weird that um, you know girls are looking for that kind. Of, well, I guess it's not weird, but you know, looking for that kind of validation online is just so so not healthy. I mean, it's bad enough being a teenager. It's rough, you know, being judged by your friends around school and stuff. But how much more online on, on Instagram? Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of parents, of course, are outraged by it, um, but they're still doing it. Like I just checked on. Instagram and there's tons of these and girls are still sending their photos in and wanting to um, you know win this this beauty pageant. Who, so, who's handling the like some so they put the hashtag and then all the likes and then who who says they they got the most likes? Um, there's some moderator like this one owns this one is just called beauty pageants and there's mm -hmm. 801 photos. 14,000 followers. So there's a bunch of them. There's like a long list and then you find mm -hmm. the ones that obviously have probably the higher counts. Right. And uh, you join it and then there's a bunch of photos. I mean not to mention the safety part of it. Like all the weirdos that are probably looking at all these girls photos. Mm -hmm. You know. It's just sad. So sad. What, um, but, what do you think the difference is between this and um, like a modeling agent because they they try and nail them early, don't they? they? Try and get them on the books while they're still teenagers. So what what do you think? What's the difference? Oh well, I think there's a big difference. One, I would assume that your parents know about. Oh. Um, your parents probably know if you are uh, signed on with an agency, because hopefully, if that's a re reputable agency, that they have gotten your parents' permission to sign you. That's I'm number one. I mean, for the psychological aspect, though, you know, with um, like, the, like the validation, you know, people saying, "Oh, you, you're either good looking or you're not." I mean, if, you, if you're a teenager, mm -hmm. mind you, actually, yeah, if you, yeah, it's, no mind. <laughs> yeah, no, I see what you're saying. There is, I mean, you're still being looked at for your beauty. I get what you're saying. You're mm -hmm. still being judged in a way based on your beauty. But if you're a model, your parents know. I'm sure that your parents have talked to you. Hopefully about the importance of what's inside and what's outside the difference and that you're not getting validation you're getting paid you're probably earning money for your college <laughs> you know um, this is nothing this is just purely hey you're pretty and I'm gonna like you it's a and popularity contest pop it's a popularity contest exactly exactly that's sad it's dangerous too and it's especially and it's Especially if they lose, like by a big margin. That's mm -hmm. yeah. And all these people are saying, "Oh, you're not pretty." You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. look at your hair, look at your eyes. Yeah. And these are the kind of things that girls really put a lot of time and effort into. And when people are 
especially strangers and people they've never met, are saying, you're ugly. Right. Which you is know, inevitable on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, if your friend says, you know, you don't look good, you know, that's one thing. But if I go up to a random girl and say, you're ugly, they're probably going to cry. And not only you, but maybe 10,000 other people, you know, that you don't even know, but it's somehow registering on your Instagram account. Yeah, it's really sad. Um, Joe, you talk about this kind of stuff with your daughter, obviously. We, we do. T I mean, she's, um, we talk, there's sometimes she'll post a picture, and then I'll go, hey, I don't like that picture. I mean, she she looks older than, I mean, right now she doesn't want to get a camera because she just got a nap, but. <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> no, it's okay. No, no. But, but no, I know. But, I'm but, but you know what I mean? It's like she's, um, there's some pictures, and I go, I go, you look. Um, older, or you know, the guys are gonna like. Who's this guy? I mean, I, I go on, I go on. She's like, why are you friends with my friends? I said because I need to, I need to be involved in this, and I need to look. And but it can almost become a bullying effect, just like you're talking about last week, where this, uh, these pictures, and where girls are starting to like, like, and then all of a sudden you got, um, you know, some celebrities, are, they got thousands of people making all these rude comments. It becomes mm -hmm. a form of bullying too, and it's mm -hmm. and it's not safe for these girls because they give out their addresses and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't. Yeah. I, it's hard to it's hard it's a fine line and it's hard to cross and it's hard to yeah. protect everybody. It is. And I think we had this conversation too just about girls in general and how we raise our daughters mm -hmm. and how we you know put emphasis on their looks rather than their brains mm -hmm. and what's inside and we tend to do that with our little boys and when we raise our little boys you know we don't dress them all cute necessarily like we do girls we don't put jewelry on them like we do with our little girls. So mm -hmm. from a young age we you know, we 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 train or what our our little girls to That's think right. this is important. We condition them to think that mm -hmm. this is what's important. Um, whereas with boys we tend to praise their athleticism, sport, you know, uh, how they lead versus girls who are bossy. You know, mm -hmm. we use words like that. And so, I don't know. When I when I heard this on on the news this week, I just felt it was an important thing to remind myself uh, when I talk to my nieces and stuff. And next time I see her, I'm going to talk to her and see if she does this kind of stuff yeah. <laughs> on Instagram or whatever. I try to check in on her. I don't know if she's watching, but I am friends with her on Facebook. Right. So I, I do uh, watch what she does sometimes. You know. Anyway. You have to. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys watching online. I love it. I wish I could access my comments list. Um, my computer is not being very good today, so I don't have access to it. Do you, if you guys see any comments or anything on the YouTube channel or um, on this stream, will you let me know? <coughs> oh, yeah, just, sorry? Go ahead. I'm going to say just a, a comment, kind of not related, but... Um, well, it's related, but it's not specific to what um, Joe just saying then um, about. Oh no, it was you actually saying it. Whereas with girls, we sort of with little girls reward their prettiness kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I saw some, something about parenting, which every parent does, but it's like if a kid comes home with a painting or something like that that they've mm -hmm. done at school, and um, the the parent will go, "Oh, that's lovely. You know, well done, good girl or good boy or whatever," and put it up in the fridge. But that's the wrong thing to do because what you've done there is you've, you've told, basically telling the kid that this is um, what has made you a good a good girl. You know what I mean? The painting is what's made you a good girl. So you need to do things in order to be good rather than saying, you know, rather than putting the painting aside for, a for initially, saying, you know, regardless of the painting, you are a right. good girl. And, that, and also, if, I mean, I'm still <laughs> learning, again, as a parent. It's so hard to be a parent, I know, <laughs> and do it right. You know, sometimes it's just a crapshoot, but it's rewarding their effort as opposed mm -hmm. to the, the 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 end result. So instead of rewarding and praising the painting, the lovely painting, you're praising their effort to do it and their commitment to do it. You yeah. know, to start right. and finish. But I thing. think uh, more than that, it, it's it's rewarding them for, for being themselves. You know, for just saying you, regardless of what happened. Because again, achievement can be a big one, can't it? It's it's almost like, mm -hmm. you know, if if you don't achieve big, and then you think you're a failure at life, and it's not. That's not the case. I and mean, I think the most important thing is to be good as a person, you know, and then... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I still do it. I still try to do things 
to get my parents praise. I just was talking to my mom just a little while ago, and and um, she goes, so what are you going to do when you get home? And I said, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do that, and this and that. And she said, I want to know how my orchids are doing in the back, because she left me her orchids, because they moved right. to North Carolina. So all of her orchids are in my backyard. And she asked me to take care of them. Um, and I said, oh my gosh, I don't even know how they're doing. She goes, but they started blooming before I left. You're supposed to just stop and smell the flowers, for God's sake. <laughs> and uh, she goes, I know you're working really hard, but I really want you to stop and smell the orchids. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, anyway, my point is that um, I do want to continue to achieve success, but what is right? What is success at this point? I mean, I have it, but I want to just keep going more and more and more and more. When do you stop? When do I stop? Well, mine, mine is um, mine's contentment. Genuinely, that's it. I'm more content now than I ever have been in my life. And you know, I mean, I mean, I've earned, I've earned like five years ago. I used to earn quite a lot of money, um, and but I was I was nowhere near as happy now then as what I am now. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I'm effectively or comparably skint now uh, to what I was. Sorry, skint is uh, broke, I guess. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I'm just just contentment. That for me, that's success. The more content you can feel, the more successful you are for me. Um, it doesn't matter how much money you've got. Or what success yeah, I guess I still equate success with how much your earning power is and how much mm -hmm. you've got. You know, I feel so guilty of that. I need to. I think we're all guilty of that. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to go back to paying $500 a month for rent and just waiting tables sometimes. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. I, mean, I, I'm not, I don't complain about my life, but sometimes it'd be nice just to go back yes. and to, that, to that time again. I remember that, yeah. I remember my rent was $500 a month. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah. Now it's mortgages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, mortgages over rent any day. It is. It is, I know, but it's a big one. It's a big nut. Yeah. Um, but yeah, back to the contentment part. I'm, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, do you want to be father one day, Anthony? Have you thought about that, or are you just kind of working on I'm a bit your career path? Right now. <laughs> no, you're, you're so young. But, you're um, like 20? 22. 20? 20? 22 this year. Wow. 22. That's old to start a family in Bradford. What? So that, that's old to start a family in Bradford, where I'm from. They're all, uh, it's not old, I'm only joking. But they're, they're oh, all okay. Old. I was like, really? Oh, I was going to oh, say. Well, you know, in Hawaii, um, people do start quite young, don't they, Joe? Mm -hmm. I was 23 when we got married. Wow, that is really... Uh, we, were like, we were like 20, yeah, 22, 23. Do you discourage your kids from starting so young? Um, my son is 23 right now, my oldest, and we had that conversation about rent, paying rent, and you know, I, I mm -hmm. taking care of this house while I'm not here, and it's mm -hmm. a you know free ride. And but he's got this girlfriend. I said, you know, take your time because this, you know, you've got a little bit more time. And, and my daughter's smart because she's real picky, and she's she's. I know she's going to take more time. I don't think she's going to be married when she's 22, 23. I think she's so not picky in a bad way, in a snotty way, but just wants to make sure that first guy is the right guy. Yeah, you know what? That that's actually uh, a reflection on her daddy. Yeah. Girls, girls who have a really good relationship with their dads mm -hmm. um, tend to wait longer mm -hmm. because they want to. They want their guy to live up to their dad. Mm. Oh, poor thing! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm crazy. <laughs> I hope there's not another one like me. <laughs> that does make sense, though. Yeah. Huh? That makes a lot of sense. That. I, I, I so get that, it. Makes, that makes a lot of sense. Yes, it does. I have yeah. to read Trav's lips, as I've told him. Before. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so what else? Uh, Anthony, you sent a little thing that says to list the comments. You have to... Oh, no. Hold on. How do you do that if you want to see the comments? That link. Oh, that one? Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's an app called Pro Studio. Oh. I, I'm helping out Michelle with her Hangouts. Uh huh. Oh, and so. I can track the comments with that. And um, Google Plus, and someone tweets out the video. 
Uh huh. It all, it all does that. Okay, now I shouldn't have clicked on it. I totally forgot. Do you guys still see me? Because I don't. Yes. See yeah. Okay. Right. Um, well, my window has just become kind of funny, um, because of my computer here. It's really funky, so I shouldn't be doing these crazy things. So I need to upgrade my computer, and then I can do all that stuff. So it, it's just an extra app, or um. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, All it's right. embedded with uh, the Pro Studio app, and I can also put people off stage, mute people. Um, if oh. they're running the app, I can eject them. Really? Yeah. Huh. But who has to start the Hangout? You or uh, you? No. The host. So, you, but you, you're not the host, and you can control that. You can eject no. them. The person. Everyone in the in the room would have to load the app too, in order for uh, me to do that part. But I can uh, put people off stage, and you would have to say if you started the hangout, you'd have to allow me to do that with the app. Hmm. hmm. Okay, that's neat. Now I have a question. Now we're we we're done with the other subject. Um, now I want some text up. So. With Google Plus, uh, the Hangouts on Air, Anthony, maybe you know the answer to this question. Before, I could start a Hangout, and I could make it public after I've started the Hangout, but I can't go back. But now, they won't let you do that. Once you've started a Hangout, whether it's a Hangout on Air or a regular Hangout, you can't invite the public. Is that right? That is true. They lock that part. Because say if I started it and I only invited my circles, mm -hmm. someone... Like Trev could come in, or anyone could come in, make it public, and then leave, hmm. allowing other people that I didn't want, some random person that I've never met or circled, just comes in there and starts doing whatever. But if the host makes it public, yeah, then that's fine, because I want, because yeah. I wanted it to be public. Right, but I can't do it now. So let's say I'm the host, and I want to now invite the public. I that can't. Part it is a little annoying, but I can't do it. Yeah, I know for an on-air hangout you still can't to prevent. Oh, really? As far as I know, I never had to do that. Yeah. As far as I know, it's because of people coming in randomly and causing trouble and disrupting mm -hmm. it. Okay. All right. Well, do you guys have any questions for me? I know that we hang out on a regular basis at my other job. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> before we go, nope. Uh, no, no, you know all about me. I want to. I want to borrow the Google glasses. Oh, oh yeah. have, have hey, um, Anthony, has Michelle heard any more any from them? Like, have they contacted her? Yeah, she she can get them. What? She has. She can get them. She qualified to get them. No, no, no. I know we all did, but. Did have they contacted her again? Because I've we've only been informed once, and I'm just wondering if they've been like contacted her again to say, "Here's an update." You know, like I haven't gotten any updates. And she hasn't mentioned anything. Okay, so I guess that means she hasn't then. Because I'm getting kind of worried. I haven't heard from them for two weeks now. What so is the date? They have. They just said, um, you know, just like everyone else, they informed you that you have been accepted into the Google Glass Explorers program. And we will contact you um, in the next few weeks. I think they're still thumbing through the invalid, the invalid oh. entries because there's a lot of people who got accepted without. Yeah, they were, oh. they were, I I thumbed through some and they were ridiculous and they were getting approved. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah it didn't it make sense. sense. So I think they're going back through, making sure everything is right before they let everyone. You know, all the actual people come and get it. Right, right. Is is there a date on that presentation thing though? Because haven't you all got to go to, a, to one specific presentation and and, and get them well, that? Well, there's is one. That? It's three different places. Um, you, they you have to fly yourself to San Francisco, to Los Angeles, and to New York. I'm mm -hmm. assuming that they're going to do this in June. Right. Okay. Right. So they should let us know soon because we have to give them money. It's fifteen hundred dollars. Mm. Yes, you won the right to pay money. Fantastic. Yeah, we won the right <laughs> to give them fifteen hundred dollars. It's crazy. It's, it's nuts. So now they're saying they don't want nobody using them in certain places. Restaurants are gonna are have like a no Google Glass 
yeah. sign, movie theaters, everybody's like they're well, going no, against it. They've already said it um, in Las Vegas too. Like you can't wear them in the casinos because they right. don't want you to be cheated. Yeah. yeah, I can understand with movies too. Yeah, I understand actually, all that. Yeah, and movies that makes sense. But what about what's going to happen when they, when it gets you know back to when they're, they're contact lens? Because they're not so far off that now. <laughs> That's crazy. They put a screen in a contact lens. It's not very what? good, but they've done. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Not Google. It's somebody else that they've done it. So give it another another three. I mean, how technology goes, another three years. And Google Glass is going to be a contact lens, mm. an earpiece. That's, so that's crazy. Like to yeah. in your eyeball. Yeah. Like that. Hmm. Oh my god. So what then? You know what I mean? If you not, you can't even tell when they've got it on. It's um. You know. Yeah. But I think it was um, a Canberra who said, who said it in one of our hangouts. We were talking about um, he, he he sees that um, in the, not too far in the future you're going to be able to, um, basically ask your computer um, to to locate somebody, and you're going to be able to see them rather than just like now it'll check in somewhere. But because there's going to be cameras absolutely everywhere, and everyone's going to have them, there's going to be like face recognition, close recognition, that kind of thing. Um, you could, you're going to be able to find out anything you want on the internet from where someone is and be able to look at them right then at that moment, like if you sign a restaurant eating. And um, you now I agree with at, them. You mean just look at them and then... Well, there's computer? going to be so, so many cameras on them that are connected to... to well, if it's Google, then connected to Google, that they're going to be able to sort of triangulate just based on all these cameras. And, gotcha. Yeah, I, mean, I can see that. Now there'll be businesses where um, they tell you there's absolutely no cameras. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? yeah. Like... Like they'll sell themselves on that fact. But how, yeah, oh, there is yeah, definitely. But but how do they um how do they know? How would well, you know? Got some kind of EMP thing inside it, but then that's going to mess up all sorts. You know what I mean? They can't yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. That, how would you want it? How would you know, right? Hmm. I don't. Hmm. Yeah. That would, I, in fact, no. That's going to be a competing technology, isn't it? There's going to be some kind of technology there that can shield you from them. Um, that shields you yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah so that's yeah. going to be. Yeah. Like it automatically, like um, what do you call that? Disrupts it. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. As I go, there's a. I've been to a Kaiser Hospital a few times where mm -hmm. I live. Like it scrambles that signal yeah. like immediately. Like you get five feet past the door, your phone dies. Exactly. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what they'll have. Yeah, the technology is already here, then, isn't it? I mean, if you think about like army yeah. bases and that kind of thing. Or really secret army bases, you know that, that kind of, that, that's going to be blathered in the stuff, isn't it? So the, the technology is um, probably already here. It's just um, that reminds me, Trev. Um, did you guys see that one news story about? Um, there's a movie, like a documentary about this alien being that they <laughs> allegedly <laughs> captured the bones and the remains of. Did you see this? What is it recently, or is it Roswell? Yes, yeah, recently. It's like I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Hmm. Right. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> it's rubbish. I mean, who's going to... They claim that they found the remains of an alien being that was, like, this small. Okay. You know? And they made, they made a shitty documentary about... Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, they did. They, did. they, they made, made a low-end documentary about it. <laughs> yeah. Rather yeah. than selling it to the government for a, a, a massive amount of money, they made a really grainy documentary and put it online. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Yeah. That's funny. That's I know. crazy. I digressed. Um... Anyway. Sorry, Marie, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to beat me out on that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's the uh, internet. Okay. Um, right, yeah. Anyway, but, Joe. But from, for a channel called Mommy Loves Tech. You don't really want swearing on it, do you? Because oh, that's okay. Mommy, mommy swear too. Mommy swear. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, do they. There's a study <laughs> found that if you bang your foot and you swear, it actually doesn't hurt quite as much as it would. I have. saw that. I saw that. <laughs> If you don't swear, yeah. That's um, yeah. I, I, I can see that. There's, all, there's also studies that show that um, if you smile, uh, I can't remember why. I can't remember why. But it's a psychological thing. You th oh, that's why. Because you th if you smile, even if you know you're doing it, I, I, you know, purposely doing it rather than smiling automatically, like mm -hmm. when you're at the gym. If you're doing like your last last set and you can't, if you can't do it and you smile, is it stronger? Because your brain uh, equates smiling to to something being good. Uh -huh. So it. I can't. I can't remember why. I can't remember why it does it, but, but apparently it, it fuels your body to uh, get that last that last rep out. I haven't no. tried it yet. I feel no. a bit sick trying it. But. I haven't tried it lifting weights or anything, but it definitely does change your mood, even if it's manufactured at the start. It does yeah. right? Right. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> they say that in call centers, don't they? They, they, they? I used to work in a call center for, for Capital One, mm -hmm. and they have um, they have mirrors on the, you know, like they, they've got like the, the divider board things, and they've got like a mirror on the wall there by the phone, and it says don't forget to smile on the thing, and you've got to look and you've got to smile at yourself while you're talking on the phone, well, on the headset, and you've got to, yeah, because <laughs> a, a smile because you can hear a smile on the phone, so. That's like the that's like what we're doing here with the Google Plus Hangout because we can see ourselves, mm. and so mm -hmm. it's easier to be friendly if you see yeah, well, yeah. smiling, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> look, we're all smiling. Yeah, it's like when you take a photo of, of someone and you're saying smile and cheese, and you see them smiling, so you're like. <laughs> but that's the thing. We're we're reacting to each other as opposed to sat on a, in a call center where you can't see the person. You're just smiling at yourself in the mirror. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, it's you feel a bit daft. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> there's an effect on the other end. Oh yeah, definitely. That's why it's done. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So Joe, are you getting on a plane tonight? Yes. Or yeah. I leave at ten o'clock tonight. So I'll get into oh. Vegas at seven o'clock. Oh in the my morning. god. I know. I'm fine. I'm happy. Oh. Wow. And then my wife has um she's getting a she had a biopsy done the other day so um tomorrow we get the results so it, I wanted to be there you know it's, it's something I wanted to be there with. Oh my God, because you've been right. gone for almost a month, haven't you? I, yeah, a month exactly. Yesterday was a month. Yeah. That's insane. I know it is insane. Wow. <laughs> a three-hour okay. tour, huh? Is it your firm? Yeah, it's it your is. Company. You work for yeah. yeah, but but in Vegas I work for an independent company. It's separate right. from my business here, so just you know, they they get you know they're fine with it. I mean, I, I still sell everything here. You know, I I could just live there and just work here. You know what I mean? If it makes sense, because I have a team here, so it's fine. Right. Okay. Yeah. But, That's yeah. so awesome, Joe. Yeah. That's really awesome. But I um, can't wait to get back. I'll bet. I'll bet. Okay, you guys. Well, that was fun. I'm gonna yeah. um. I'm going to end the broadcast, and I just want to say thanks to all of you guys watching on air. I do see you. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll check up on Mommy Loves Tech more often, and um, I'll see you next time.